We're gonna do a little bit of chemistry. Baking soda plus vinegar equals, you know. Carbon dioxide, we're gonna make, be making carbon dioxide gas. So inside of this balloon, I've already packed it with carbon uh, with baking soda. This little bottle has a little bit of vinegar in the bottom. I'm going to stretch the mouth of the balloon over the top, and I'm gonna start combining the baking soda. Oh my gosh, look, it's already happening. Uh, here, Alex, just hold on to the base of the balloon there. No, Alex, you hurry. can't. Oh, yeah. no, no, <laughs> hurry, Maddie, help me, save me. Okay, thanks, all right, see you guys. No, I'm just kidding. So it's inflating the balloon and it is filling it with carbon dioxide gas. Now this is part one of a two-part experiment because now that you know, please do not let go of the balloon. <laughs> now that you know that the balloon is filled with carbon dioxide gas, we're gonna use the same idea of vinegar plus baking soda for something amazing. Now that you understand how to make carbon dioxide gas, we're gonna capture some of that gas into a container for some invisible water. So this is vinegar plus baking soda going inside of this container. This seems so goofy because you can't see anything. But trust me, there's actually carbon dioxide gas that is now, I'm hoping, filling this larger container. And I don't want any to escape. Now you're probably wondering, how do I know that this is filled with carbon dioxide? Well, you smell a little bit of the vinegar, I think. <laughs> Carbon dioxide actually doesn't have an odor. I'm gonna put my invisible water label on it. And the reason that I'm pretty sure that there is some carbon dioxide gas inside of this container is that carbon dioxide is denser than air. So if you were able to see it, carbon dioxide would sink to the ground rather than floating in midair. So I'm gonna leave that right there. And now we're ready to go to our magical birthday party. Happy birthday to you. Wait a minute. I'm not just going to blow it out. I could accidentally spit on the candle. So instead, I'm going to use my invisible water placed here for our convenience. Actually, Maddie, come on over. I want you to take the container and just pour the invisible water over the candles. Oh, well, I'm not going to get all my wishes this year, but that was pretty amazing. Now, here's the reason that it worked. What was inside of this container? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. What does a fire need to burn? Do you know? What's in air that fire needs to burn? Oxygen, right. So there was all that carbon dioxide, but there wasn't much oxygen or maybe any oxygen because the carbon dioxide had displaced that. So when you poured that, again, it was invisible. But this proves that just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There was carbon dioxide gas that extinguished a lot of those candles. Science match.